All right, what's up guys? So I'm just gonna be showing you how I made these abstract renders right here. I'll just put them up on the screen so you can see what we're gonna be making. But yeah, let's just get into it. Let's go. Okay, so what I wanna do in this one is try some sort of abstract type of thing. So what I'm thinking is like some really old Beeple style abstract render like this. So I just have a bunch of reference photos of old Beeple stuff, like cool stuff like this. Like some elements that I wanna include are some nice neon kind of colors like this, interesting but simple shapes, and also like faded dark background. So not completely black, but it's kind of like got this filter on it. And also maybe some grain on top. It looks like he's put like, just like dust and scratches or some sort of like grain type of thing over that. And there's just like a nice film grain over the entire thing as well. So I'll try and do that afterwards. But yeah, the main thing is just abstract, colorful, bright, but also simplistic thing with like a dark background. So let's just see how that goes. I'll just try doing stuff and we'll just see where it goes from there. Now, I think what I wanna start with, I have a basic shape in mind that I kind of thought of before this video, but I haven't tried it. So I'll just start messing around with shapes and then go from there. So let's just try this. Let's just uh, solidify that, apply the scale, bring that in, just make sure it's even all the way across. And I'm, I'm just gonna block out the basic shape for now and maybe from this kind of perspective so maybe let's take the camera bring it up like this yeah that's kind of the perspective I want and I might do uh, orthographic perspective like this and then let's bring that into rendered view I need some lights in here to see so let's just do a quick point light now I think I want I probably want most of the light coming from this thing itself or like a light inside of it maybe but I'll just have this here for now so I can see. Let's make a new texture, turn up the transmission so it's gonna be glass, and then I'll take a, um, let's actually open up bridge and take like a rough snap from here. This one looks nice. Download, apply scale, unwrap with the cube projection. Yeah, just duplicate the whole thing. Take this solidify down to like 0.02 or something, and then just scale that in so it's just this thin, like this thin version of it. Take this up and let's make it some sort of blue or something. I don't know. Uh, select that, pull that down to there. That's kind of cool having it really frosted. I kind of like that, but I want like a um, more slick kind of look. So let's do this. Nice. Uh, this one or that one's kind of cool. Like take a JS placement and just run that into the alpha of this. Now that is terrible, so let's see if we can fix that. There we go, that's kind of cool. This is kind of cool if I solidify it, it's kind of stretching that texture upwards. I kind of like that actually. And I'm just gonna keep adding different images in here to find, the, like just find some cool colors just to see what might work. That's kind of nice actually. You know, this abstract stuff seems like it's gonna be really easy, but then it's actually, it's pretty difficult to like get it to look good because it's not really, it's not a thing. You're trying to make a new thing that doesn't even exist. So it's kind of hard to make that, like find something that actually looks good. I don't really like that. Let's turn that back down. Oops. Yeah, pretty tricky actually. Maybe I can do a subdivision on this, so like make it smooth. You know what, this kind of just made me wanna switch up everything. So let's actually delete this. That's kind of interesting, but like, it's getting pretty messy the more I do that. So I don't know about that. Um, it looks good until I start duplicating it and then it just looks worse, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can just take this and like spam it around a few times. Now this is getting really messy. Uh, this is just not, not doing what I wanted. Well, let's try something else. So maybe let's try a cube, bevel, uh, put like five segments, I don't know, shade auto smooth, maybe harden normals, maybe put that glass on, so whatever. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Duplicate it maybe. Put uh, this on, there we go. It's cool, but 
Um, you can tell it's JS placement, so I should probably deal with that. Uh, but let's just get a cool setup first. Um, yeah, this is tricky. I don't know. Like, maybe I need more like stretched out textures like this. I don't know. That's that's fine. So we'll just do glass, glass, glass. So three glass shaders in a row. Want to add them together. So another add shader. So add these. Boom. One of them needs to be fully red. One of them needs to be fully green and then one of them needs to be fully blue so if you add all those together you get white but if we tweak the ior of each thing so like go up a little bit on the blue and down a little bit on the red that will just make uh the red like shifted one direction a little bit and then the blue shifted one the other direction a little bit so um i don't know just offset that just enough so that it's not super distracting but it still looks kind of cool so i want to Maybe bring this a little closer together. So now you can see if I zoom way in, the red is just sli shifted slightly and the blue is just shifted slightly and then that leaves the green in the middle. This is actually fine. This is actually kind of cool. I don't mind this. Uh, maybe I just want more light in this cube up here so it's more like a little more stuff happening. I'm kind of just trying stuff and like moving different shapes around. That's kind of what my strategy is for this. That's kind of nice. It's a nice desaturated green. I don't know, like I don't want to make it too complex where there's just too much stuff happening and like too much information to take in all at once. But just a little bit more would be nice, I think. Okay, I might add depth of field, but I think I just want to duplicate these a few more times. Maybe not, maybe it's fine. Let's just add it and just see what happens. Depth of field. Let's do an empty. So add empty, just do a plain axis. And then if you just set the focus object on your depth of field to that empty, then it becomes really easy to tweak exactly where, like it's gonna focus on directly the middle of this. So we'll, we just have to tell it where to go basically. And I don't want it that extreme because it's, it's hard to like see what's going on. So maybe let's do like F12. So there's just a slight amount, but not too much. Since we're using the orthographic lens, the depth of like the f-stop numbers are going to be completely not like a regular camera. If I was in the perspective lens, it'd be different. But in here, it's going to be you're going to have to like tweak these values a lot more than you're used to, or maybe less. Depends how big things are. So it's going to have to be extreme, like f-35 or 40 or something. But just a little bit, whatever gives me an, an just a little bit of blur is going to be what I want to go with. And I want more grids and stuff. So let's do let's just do a basic grid like over top of everything. So let's just new texture. Let's make it a translucent, just a regular translucent and then subdivide it like this many times and then do a quick wireframe. This is kind of uh, something cool that Beeple did in his stuff. Uh, and some of it is like having a, just a, a few different grids blended together over this. It just gives it a, a weird like techie kind of feel. So that's maybe what I'll go for a little bit here. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like this, how it's, there's just like different techy little bits in here. Let's take this. Um, so just save it, boom, just take this, drop it in here. So take this up, take this up. Clarity, see when I take up the clarity, it brings out that grid a lot. So I want to be careful with that. Take the clarity up slightly in those areas, but just slightly. So I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, more saturation grain. I want this up decently high. I want it to be like pretty stylized uh, So let's take the grain up quite a bit actually and then the color calibration. This is always fun to get like Weird colors that you didn't expect maybe a bit of split toning. So like a little bit of yeah This is nice like a little bit of blue in the shadows like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, cool Okay, so after making this one I actually just went back into blender and I took these same shapes and textures and just rearranged them a couple different times to get two additional renders uh, without that much extra time. So that's just these ones right here. It's kind of like if you, if you were into photography and you found a really cool location, you wouldn't just take one picture there, right? You would take a bunch of different pictures and you can 
use those for different things, right? So it's the same thing here. Once you have one cool blend file, you can actually go back in and just take a bunch of different shots of that same thing or just rearrange things slightly if you want, like I did here. Hopefully that was useful. Hopefully you learned something about making these like abstract style renders. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.